is Peace, and I'm your co-host. Our host here is Aria. Hi everyone, welcome! Why is there a pen up my sleeve? Ow, I got stung. Is that a bee? Oh, spelling, spelling bee! bee. Today we have <laughs> We interrupt this week's show with a special interview. Hi everyone, today we have a very special guest here today, Pi Hao Hong. Hi, welcome to the afternoon show. I heard that you're graduating this year? Yes, I just graduated this June. Where are you graduating from? I graduated from Thammasat University, where I study accounting there. Wow, Thammasat is a big school. What made you choose accounting for your faculty? First, this idea started since I was 15. I like subjects like math, and I like to read a lot about business. So, accounting is a faculty that directly related to this subject. So I choose, and also I want to be an auditor. What is an auditor? Because I don't know who that is. An auditor is the one, like the person who go through all the company process to check. For example, like we read all about the company, the business, the the main thing that they sell, or the things that the main activity, let's say like that, that they do, huh. and then we look in their financial statement to see whether it's right or wrong. Yeah. So, since you're going to be graduating from Tamasat, do you have any advice to the people who want to go to Tamasat this year or any other year? Well, now today, not only Tamasat, but every university, the entrance exam changed a lot. So, I suggest you to go to the website and look for uh, the qualification and study one or two years before you take an exam. For sure. At, I start to study since M4. So for me in the, at that time, I study two hours a day, every day. Like no weekend, no weekend break. <laughs> so yeah, we have to study a lot because if you get the first round, your whole year in M6, will be like in your in heaven. You don't have, you don't have to do anything. So, since you're in Thammasat, I'm assuming that you go to Bangkok a lot. So, what are you doing here in Konken? Oh, uh, right now I'm, I'm in the beauty contest. It's called a silk festival. So, I'm in Konken because of only of this contest. So I hope you win, and is there any way we can vote for you? Oh yes, of course, I have to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to Konkan link, and it will have a number. And scroll down to number 23, and then please press vote for me. <laughs> so I hope you win, and yes. I'll go vote for you right after this. <laughs> yes, you can vote for me every day, but you have to connect with the press vote first. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for the advice on how to get into Thammasat as well. Thank you. Now back to your regular scheduled show. Today we have a great speller. Here's Alex. Thank you for having me on the show. So Alex, how many spelling bee competition have you been in? Um, I have no idea, but it's a lot. How many have you participated in the top three? Well, for top three, um, there are quite a few, but I have won nationals once, so there's that. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want to know, have you ever had any memorable experiences from any spell competition? Um, yes, I have a few. Um, one of them is, um, when I was in grade 3, I had to spell out the entire name of the USA, okay? The entire name, like, United States of, the, of America. And then, second story is that was in grade 5, I think? Basically, um, I had a judge who had a, a funny accent, okay? 
and basically the word was air conditioner. But the way she said it was like air conditioner. And I thought she said accordion. I really thought it was like I had no idea what she said. I had no idea. I spelled it and of course I got it wrong. <laughs> Well, since you've won nationals once, it's really impressive. So we here at EBTV, we have a challenge for you. Okay. We want you to go against another speller from the audience. And do you have any volunteers? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? The name is Pop. Why did you volunteer? Yes. <laughs> Um, are you even a good speller? Technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to work. Pop and Alex are going to write each, um, write the words that me and Peace say, and we're going to count down 3, 2, 1, and then they're both going to turn their papers around for you guys to see, and whoever gets it right, just gets points. Yeah, 
Japanese as well, but not in spelling. So please welcome Abram. Enjoy the song. 